let me welcome my guest for us to begin this uh, morning's uh, session of news file. And as we have announced to you already, we are dealing first with the question of infrastructure. The president has boldly declared, although it's been said many times, he has now even affirmed it a lot more, that the infrastructure, the massive infrastructure that you have heard spoken about over the period, as done by the NDC, only remains on the green book or in the green book. My guests this morning are Pius Enam Hajide, Deputy Minister of Information, Felix Kwachi Ofosu, former Deputy Communications Minister and NDC Parliamentary Candidate for Ebura Asebu Kwamankese. We'll have the second segment where Inu Safuseni MP, Tamale Central and Ranking Member, Legal, Constitutional and Parliamentary Affairs. Yabwa Binga Samoa, MP Adentang, and Director of Communications of the New Patriotic Party, as well as Dr. Kojo Pumpuni Asante, Director Advocacy and Policy Engagement of the Ghana Center for Democratic Development, CDD, will join us. Gentlemen, good morning and welcome to News File. Good, good morning. morning, Samson. Okay, so my mask has not helped me too much. I just removed it. I'll find time and fix it properly. So, Let's listen to President Akofuado on the question of, you know, road infrastructure and how the NDC did. We'll hear also the minister, uh, Kwesia Mwakwata, Minister of Roads and Highways, then former President John Mahama on the questions and attacks on what he did as being only in the Green Book. And then uh, we have his special aide, who also says something about it. Let's listen to them. We made a pledge to the Ghanaian people to expand and improve the road network while closing the missing links in the network. We had to make this pledge because we know that the so-called unprecedented infrastructure development of the Mahama administration was fantasy existing in the Green Book and not on the ground. I believe that we must be serious, you know, then we should stop this little, little politicking and uh, I did this, I did that. The most important thing is that within the last 28 months, two years, four months, this project has been delivered for the people of this country and for our benefit, we are praying that we do the second phase to complete the project. And this project is for the government and the good people of this country. Yeah. This is what we should uh, so, 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 so should we remember as an Akufado project or a Mahama project? That is not important. That is not important. No, the most, the most important thing is that, that this project has been delivered within the last 28 months. You know, under, uh, uh, under, under President Akufado, this project has been delivered. That process proceeds smoothly. But, and a big but, let nobody assume that we will accept the results of a flawed election. In view of the abundance of evidence over the accuracy of the contents of the Green Book, there are only two possible explanations for the consistent falsehood of the president on the matter. It is possible that despite having heard about it, President Akufuado has never cited a copy of the book. It is also entirely possible that he is fully apprised of the contents of the Green Book, but has chosen the path of falsehood insofar as it enables him to mislead fanatical supporters of the MPP or unsuspecting members of the Ghanaian public, and in the process hide his dubious reputation as the least performing of all Ghanaian leaders, at least in the area of infrastructure and capital investments. For the avoidance of doubts, there is not a single project in the Green Book which does not exist on the ground today 
or for which clear context has not been provided regarding his status. The danger that the Green Book poses to President Akufuado is a grave one, as it provides the most compelling and visceral proof of his mediocre performance compared to his predecessor. Lip service has continued to be paid to President Akufuado's promise to build a rail line between Ghana and Burkina Faso. And with six months to the expiration of his tenure, no tangible work has been done. You're welcome back. And uh, forgive us for the mishap that we wanted to play President Mahama himself uh, earlier, but we played uh, a wrong sound. We will use that sound later when we come to discuss the voters register controversy. Right. So, um, once again, welcome. And I don't know if I should start with uh, Felix, uh, Pius. H how can what the president said be true? You heard him. He was so categorical and emphatic that President Mohammed's road infrastructure, you know, claims exist only in this green book. And it's not on the brown earth. Well, uh, thank you very much, Samson. Mm. Good morning to you, to my colleague uh, Felix, and to the cherished viewers on TV and listeners on radio. Uh, I think that this discussion on infrastructure mm. is important because infrastructure, we admit, plays a major role in our socioeconomic development, no doubt. Mm. But I think that the view that some people carry, and majority of them from uh, the NDC, that governance is all about uh, brick and mortar is rather limited. Uh, governance goes beyond uh, infrastructure, and I've said that infrastructure is important. But equally important are the huge investments uh, into, for instance, the human capital, social investments, and, and those must also not be lost on us, and that we must get rid of the thinking that uh, governance is all about uh, engaging with a contractor uh, to put one infrastructure here or there and uh, benefits may accrue to us later. We can talk about those uh, going forward. And for us, management of the economy as well is critical. In fact, I believe that it is about managing the economy that enables you to even deliver on the infrastructure. And if you, the growth rate under the NDC declined from the average of over 7% 7, 7 to around 3%. What it meant was that our capacity to even deliver on the infrastructure was declining. And if under His Excellency Nana Dodan Kakufado, the economy peaked and was going back to an average of about 7%, what it meant was that our capacity to deliver on the infrastructure was also peaking and going up. Uh, the other issue about uh, infrastructure, Green Book, I think that it's a, it's a question that the people of Ghana have answered quite clearly by the verdict of the 2016 elections. Because infrastructure was the mainstay of our colleagues in the NDC pre the 2016 general elections. And when they made the point that roads had been constructed, I recall that on one of the campaign tours, His Excellency made the point that the roads in the country were bad. His Excellency John Muhammad at the time retorted that he may, he may have fallen asleep because the roads were too good. Two, three years down the lane, those roads that we were promised or we were assured had been completed, everywhere you went in this country, people were asking for roads. So it is only fair to suggest that if you indeed promised us and assured us that the roads were fixed and that you had put those roads in the green book and now the people are complaining about the roads, then one, you may have misled the people or an insistence that the road actually does exist, even in the light of the evidence that the people are asking for roads everywhere you go right now. A good introduction. You said it is only fair to suggest. Did the president suggest? Please, let's hear the president again. And let's hear President Mahama if his sound is ready. We made a pledge to the Ghanaian people to expand and improve the road network while closing the missing links in the network. We had to make this pledge because we know that the so-called unprecedented 
infrastructure development of the Mahama administration was fantasy, existing in the Green Book and not on the ground. Movements are well documented in the Green Book, and I urge all doubters to get a copy and step into their communities and cross-check if the projects outlined there, the e-blocks, the interchanges, the hospitals, and other transformational projects exist only in that book. So you heard the president. Was he suggesting, you said it might be fair to suggest that you are only misleading the people and that the things don't exist. Was he suggesting? Yes, clearly, and we must put the president's conversation into context. I mean, we clearly must understand where he was coming from. No, was he Without making that, a suggestion? Well, my understanding is that it was a fair suggestion to make, and indeed, he was making a suggestion that it was misleading what was put in the Green Book. The people were, were hoodling, hoodwinked, and in fact, uh, misrepresent, misrepresentation was done on okay. the part of the, do the, the me, previous Do me this favor. Listen to the president one more time. We made a pledge to the Ghanaian people to expand and improve the road network while closing the missing links in the network. We had to make this pledge because we know that the so-called unprecedented infrastructure development of the Mahama administration was fantasy, existing in the Green Book and not on the ground. We know, he said knowledge, yes. that the so-called Mahama infrastructure unprecedented, that's yes, was, was fantasy Absolutely. I the view. and does not exist on the earth. Yes. You said he was suggesting that it may be misleading. Well, I, I, I am having a discussion, but no, for me, the it's, discussion a, it's, a, it's, is a, it's a factual, the what the president said mm. was a factual representation of that what they was don't the exist. The, the unprecedented right. developments right. that we were told right. that the roads had been com constructed and that they were so smooth that mm. riding on them you could fall asleep. Mm. Those fantasy, those unprecedented uh, so-called achievements okay. where did not exist on the ground. Right. If he did not limit himself to roads. He said infrastructure, well, unprecedented. But something. Now, I think now, that in fairness, now in fairness, this is, this we is what admit. I want us to okay, do. Sure. As you can see, I raked up my green book, and I can see the various developments in there. If I may give you a choice, mm. take this green book, point us to one which does not exist so that we will know that you are speaking to fact and that the president says it is out of knowledge that these things don't, don't exist. So all the many hundreds of infrastructure here, can you point to one that doesn't exist? <laughs> no, Samson, I, th I, I think that I can understand uh, what exercise you want us to engage in, but I think that, like I said, we must put the president's comment in, in, in context and let's not uh, be too simplistic about it because, you see, for instance, where the president was speaking, was it or was it not in the Green Book? The, the, the Temamuto way, was it or was it not in the Green Book? Today, the airport, the, mm. the Terminal 3, was it or was it not are in you, the Green Book? Are you able to so, show, so, so, are you able to no, they, show they the, take the, the project that the it president... It will take all the time. I can, I have, I've, had, I've done some, some case work on yeah, the Green I've Book. I've seen that you brought a lot can, of books too. Which I can um, share with you. But yeah, I'm, I brought just this. No, I'm discussing the whole... Yes. I brought some documents to no. also discuss so the whole So what I only need of, you to do is to let me know, for example, the things that have been stated here. I just, I just open at random. Uh, Sakuma no C defense project, and they, they show us the pictures. Uh, if you're able to say it does not exist, the president said they don't exist. In Sawam Water Expansion Project, they show us the beautiful buildings of the, well, of the particular projects in this green book. So we see them there. You see, in that, uh, we we'll talk about in Sawam water. So hold on with the water, Samson, one second. Mm. If you go to page 60 mm -hmm. of the, the Green Book, mm -hmm. these projects were listed as Mahama projects. The Kumon Water Works. Yes. The Kwewu Ridge Water Projects. Mm -hmm. Kumewu Water Projects. Mm -hmm. Konongo Water Projects. Wa Water Projects. Right. Interconnection of Sechre Human Water Treatment Plant. Mm. And they were stated as John Mahama projects. Okay. So those, you, mentioned, those, you mentioned the Kwong. 
the Pong Intake Rehabilitation Project. Now, what did the Green Book say about it? The Pong Intake Rehabilitation Project has been carried out to improve efficiency by replacing all existing pumps. As part of the project, a water treatment plant has been built to increase supply to communities such as Dodoa, Ningo, and Pram Pram, all in the Greater Accra region and the Equaping Ridge in the Eastern region. This plant can supply 3.3 million gallons uh, per day. Yes, yeah, so I'm saying to yes. you that the mm -hmm. impression that the Green Book sought to create mm -hmm. was to claim credit and to posit that these were John Mahama projects. In fact, if you read, if you listen to former mm -hmm. President John Mahama, he said that the achievements, his achievements were captured in the Green Book. Mm -hmm. But if you read the 20, 2007 budget, mm -hmm. you will notice that these, but these projects are listed in the 2007 budget. And so they could not have been projects of the NDC. So that is misleading. So that in this, in this particular people. context of that project, you are saying it exists, but they can't, cr they can't claim absolute credit for it. Absolutely. Thank you. And there are several That's a different cases. It exists. It's just that they can't claim all the credit. Like they are also saying today, that some of the things you are cre claiming credit for, you should be magnanimous and not take all the credit. OK. You so go to you go what to else? you go to the the, the one that speaks Cape Coast about, Stadium. The, the one that speaks Cape Coast about, Stadium. They name it here. Even nearing the, nearing completion. Even that one, mm -hmm. they created the impression that this was also a, a John Mahama project. In fact, it was not. This is what they that. said. The last few uh, few years has seen Ghana begin to reap uh, benefits of the developmental. Uh, investments made in the youth in the various sporting disciplines. Over the last two years, the progressive uh, prominence of Ghanaian sportsmen among others, so they state it here, and then what do they come to say about the project? They give us a picture of the project. You see the Vice President and Mr. Arthur inspecting the progress of work. Um, I think they don't say anything beyond that, be, apart from the, picture, the pictures and they say it is nearing completion. So what's your point? Well, my point is that the whole idea, my understanding of His Excellency's presentation mm. was that, and that's why I started the whole conversation, that infrastructure development is not about one or two uh, trophy projects in the capital or in some few regional capitals. Infrastructure has to permeate the whole spectrum from mm. the very base. Okay. And that's why I brought some documents to show to you that if you are talking about truly unprecedented, it really does not exist. It only may exist in the Green Book. Because what we have seen on the ground, going around, driving on the roads, even here in Accra, the infrastructure deficit is so huge. Okay. But, but here we are, but we were this, promised. This, this is in the Green Book. It exists, correct? We looked at the poem. It exists, doesn't it? Yes, yeah, it, it, it exists, more. but creates a misleading picture. This is, that this is were, housing. And you can see here Saglime Affordable Housing Project. And they show us all of it. Yes. I suppose you drive to your hometown. I do. And you do see these buildings there? I do. OK. Even though they may be under controversy, they exist, don't they? These ones exist, yes. OK. But, so, but, but Samson, uh, I think that, again, my view was not that simplistic that what the president meant was that within the four years or the eight years that, uh, cumulatively, Mr. Mahama has been in charge of running the affairs of this country, collecting the people's tax, borrowing money on our behalf. Mm. He was not going to see, we were not going to see even one project to his name. That was not my understanding. There may be a few isolated uh, 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 projects that stand in the name of the NDC and even in the name of Mr. Mahama. So you are but not the, qualifying the, what the president but, said. But the president himself qualified it, that the unprecedented infrastructure development that we were assured was not anywhere on the ground. And okay. something I can put it to you. Do you see any unprecedented infrastructure that is on the ground? Do, so do you not hear the complaints help about me, roads? Help me and my audience understand, because over the week, that has been the debate. You are clarifying that what the president meant is that there are projects, the projects in the Green Book exist, but they are not unprecedented. Well, partly so. Partly also that the Green Book paints a misleading uh, picture in fact, some of us even held the view long ago that this was fraud. Some of the Green Book pictures, they were artistic impressions. At the you, time you of compilation... You are here. This no, is the Green I, Book. No, but, I have handed but, but, it to but, but, you, but, Sammy, Sammy, and I have, Phyllis, asked you, Phyllis, I have asked you to point Phyllis, to just one. Phyllis, you haven't done that. Phyllis will, will deal with the artistic impressions in the Green Book, because I've heard him speak about artistic impressions in the Green Book. 
Today, those artistic impressions, four years after uh, the tenure of uh, former uh, Mr. Mr. Uh, His Excellency Nana Dodan Kufado, mm. today you may see some of these structures because we believe that projects that are good must be continued and completed. So today, some of these projects may, may be seen standing. Mm. But at the time of compilation, some of the, the, the pictures even in this, uh, in this book were also, uh, uh, in addition, just artistic impressions. And I just had a call from somebody from Ada yesterday that on page 60 of the Green Book, they promised that they had done the uh, Ada uh, coastline protection. The person sent me a picture that the Ada coastline, pro pro uh, coastline defense does not exist. This is somebody from Ada, page 60 of the Green Book, I'm told, mm. that they said that there was some Ada coastal protection that they did. But I got a call from Ada yesterday that that does not exist. And so if somebody says that some of the projects in the book does not exist, some, are, some were artistic impressions, and some are projects that you cannot claim credit for, but you are claiming credit for it in the, in the Green Book. It becomes, uh, even if you may, fraud that was perpetrated on the people. I see. And so, so I think that that was the context within which His Excellency was, was So was in page 60, where I see a da is, oh, it's a Kemoda, it's not a da. Um, no, it's the Adam Beach. I can, I can get it for 60, you. Page 60, yeah, I'm, I'm at page 60. The, the, um, I'm at page 60. In fact, glancing through in this very short time in page 60, I doubt I can see Ada in page 60. I'll get it. What you're talking about is sea defense. Sea defense. Okay, so page 60 doesn't have sea uh, Ada and page 61 too doesn't. Either. No, I'll, I'll get the page for you. Okay. I got a call about it. I can, I mean, I've gotten the page number, okay. but I'll get it for you even before right. we go on. And, and, so, and the evidence the person Yes, he sent me the two pictures. Okay. But I'm saying to you that we must. Uh, place the president's comment in context. Mm. For something we cannot see that the taxes that were were were, were collected, mm. the amounts that were borrowed, huge ones, the grants that were taken on behalf of the people, that you could not see one or two projects that do not stand in the name of the former administration. No, every government from the days of uh, uh, your have constructed, have done some infrastructure. And in fact, we are doing massive infrastructure, and I'll get to those in a bit. Mm -hmm. I'm saying that the president could not have been saying that there is not one, one project that we can uh, give uh, Mr. Mahama credit for. That cannot be the case. Okay. But the context now, within which we were right. speaking okay. was that the Thank Green you. Book was mm. chiefly designed to mislead us and would bring us into and thinking. You, you, see, you see, whilst you are unable to point me to a single of these things, apart from this uh, uncorroborated one you are showing, and which also doesn't exist at page 60, at least we can't find that now. You still insist and use words but, like but, fraud. But, 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 but you know, so, no, hold just, on, hold on. But let's you find still out. insist and use words like fraud, and that this is fraud. Please, uh, I want to hear Felix, all right. but all of us once again, listen to President Akufuado. We made a pledge to the Ghanaian people to expand and improve the road network while closing the missing links in the network. We had to make this pledge because we know that the so-called unprecedented infrastructure development of the Mahama administration was fantasy, existing in the Green Book and not on the ground. So after, after listening to him, I'm obviously not simplifying, uh, being simplistic about anything. Um, whilst we are being shown that the Adan thing the person is referring to is in page 67 or 66, I'll check that. But Felix, let's hear you. Mm. This debate is so straightforward mm. that perhaps you should not even be having it. <laughs> because the answer is so obvious. The questions you pose to Pius immediately expose the falsehood of the president's claim. To begin with, I agree entirely with Paris that governance is not all about infrastructure. And in fact, something, if you check the Green Book, it is not all about infrastructure. That's right. We speak about the economy. In fact, this is the third Green Book that the NDC has published. The first two deal substantially with progress made in the area of the economy. So I wish to put it on record, and I was part of those who compiled this book, that it does not solely focus on infrastructure. Two, Pius says that the thing that enables you even carry out infrastructure investments 
is the management of the economy. Let me also place it on record that when it comes to the management of the economy, the NDC has a vastly superior record to what the NPP has. In fact, the best record in terms of macroeconomic indicators, mm. there are about 18 different indicators that are used. The best record happened under the NDC when President Mills was president and President Mahama was then vice president and head of the economic management team. The highest growth rates were recorded under President Mills. Indeed, the average for the period between 2009 and 2012 was about 9% growth rates. There was a year, 2011, where we grew by 14.4%. The MPP has never been able to match that. Indeed, this year, they will record the worst ever economic growth in the history of Ghana, 1.5%. No, in the, in the last 40 years, 1.5%. Which, which will not be strained, because that's the global yeah, but, but, situation because yes, of the yes, pandemic. It, is, it will go on record, and mm. that was a growth rate. It is far lower than the 14.4% mm. that we achieved. I just said that to make the point that they go about claiming that they have the best economic record. That is not true. Again, the way that you see if a government's economic performance is reflected in infrastructure investments is what we call the capital expenditure to GDP ratio, capex to GDP ratio. Indeed, one of the foremost proponents of that is Dr. Baumia. Okay. Whilst in opposition, he never ceased to tell people about the use of that benchmark mm. to assess a government's performance in infrastructure investments. So if you look at the budget statements between 2013 and 2019, it is quite clear. Thank you very much for helping me sanitize. It is quite clear, and I must apologize to viewers for my struggle with it. Mm. It's not easy when yes. this and speaking. Mm. It is quite clear which government has a superior record translating this economic performance to infrastructure development. And indeed, when you look at the capex to GDP ratio, the bigger it is, the more money has been spent. So in 2013, under President Mahama, the capex to GDP ratio was 3.9%. This simply pitches your capital investment, the money that goes into infrastructure, against the size of your GDP. So the bigger it is, the more money you spend. 2013, it was 3.9%. 2014, 3.9%. 2015, it jumped to 4%. 2016, 4.6%. President Akufuado took over in 2017. In 2017, it was 3.1%, far lower than what President Mama left. In 2018, it slumped to 1.6%. 2019, 1.5%. There's every indication that given the terrible growth rate we are going to experience this year, it will be, it will, it will be less than 1%. Now, having said this, let me jump into what the president said. You see, mm. Pyro should not attempt sophistry. The clip you played is clear and unambiguous. The president said that the unprecedented infrastructure exists only in the Green Book and not on the ground. Again, if it were the case that this was the first time the president was saying this, you could perhaps dismiss it as something he said in jest. And therefore, Pyros' discussion about contextualizing will come in. It is not the first time. Indeed, for four years, President Akufuado has been waging a war of attrition on the Green Book. The first time he said it was, an on, was an, on an MPP platform in 2016, August. He was very specific that the Green Book was filled with artist impressions. The second time he said it, was when he took over, no, at the launch of the MPP manifesto, he said it was filled with artist impressions. The third time he said it, he had, he had become president. He met a group of chiefs from the Upper West region sometime in 2018. And I'm going to quote him. Mm. Before I came here, and this is a quote, mm. I was told by my biggest competitor that they have done all roads in Ghana and that they are responsible for an unprecedented infrastructure development. Everywhere I go, I do not think there's any institution that has talked to me and has not raised the issue about rules in the area of principal concern. Again, he took this a notch higher. In the State of the Nation Address on 20th February 2020, and I'm quoting him, artist impressions have been passed off as constructed rules. And then there was this incident last week Friday. So it is a consistent pattern of attacks. Mm -hmm. with, the, on with, the, the with the exception of this week, mm -hmm. The president has been simply echoing concerns no. of the people he meets. No, you see something? No, no. no. Mm -hmm. I am also here. Yeah. We have, we have seen and heard mm -hmm. that the president has been to places mm -hmm. and the people have complained bitterly There's no about their road and infrastructure. And I doubt if President Akufadu will be the last president to whom people complain about roads. Until we do every road in Ghana, that complaint will persist. It is a legitimate concern. And the way that you respond to it is actually to fix the rules, not to peddle falsehood about the record of a predecessor. But I will address that presently. So if you put all the things that the president has said together that I've read to you, 
it boils down to three things. That one, the contents of the green book are not real, they are not on the ground. Two, that the book is filled with artist impressions. And then three, President Mama had said that he had done all rules. And so when President Kufadu goes on, he should not face complaints about rules that do not exist. So if you permit me, I'm going to take all of this within the constraints of time. First of all, I was part of the group that drafted this book. And I'm telling you as a matter of fact, without any ambiguity, mm. that there is not a single project in this book that does not exist on the ground today, or at the time we were doing it, mm. or for which context was not provided in terms of its status. Now you say about context too. Be because you have not read the book. I doubt if President Kufado has ever read the book. The book is clear. In every introduction to every sector, we make it clear that these projects represent projects that are ongoing, completed, or in some cases for which contracts have been awarded for. Because projects don't just materialize, they go through a process. So I am saying for the records that there is not a single project stated in this book that does not exist on the ground. Can we take the Adansi defense I'll, I'll project, for example, Again, you see, where, you where, see, where, where in the book you talk about moving on to a second perhaps, phase. Yes, but you see, and you he see, says that somebody has reached out all, to him to see, suggest that. The person who sent him that picture mm. also tagged me in a similar picture on Facebook. The problem with the MPP mm. is that their propaganda is so pedestrian. He believes that when he hides in Adan and takes a picture of the sea, the sea is a vast area. So when you take a portion where there are no stones mm. and you present it and say that we have not done the sea defense in Adan, then you attend it. I'm telling you as a matter of fact, that project exists. There is third party corroboration of this. Because indeed, the Daily Graphic in 2014 paid a visit to the place. I'm going to read you the Daily Graphic's own testimony. Okay. Last Saturday, when the Daily Graphic visited the project site to see the progress of work, officials disclosed that the first phase had already been completed, while the second phase was also progressing steadily. And they are quoting Mr. Adrian Royce, the project engineer, who was there that day when they went. When, sorry, work started in early 2013, and this is a 36 month project, which we hope to complete within the specific period. Mm. The picture we show there. So, is this so a picture from Adan? Absolutely. This picture was taken from Adan? This picture was taken from Adan. At the time that this was done, they had finished <laughs> the first phase, we are moving on to the second phase. Picture. And I've given you the third party corroboration by the most credible newspaper in Ghana, the Daily Graphic, who visited the place and spoke to those under no, the project. No, no. Please. Why are you speaking? I kept quiet. Mm. Somebody has merely taken the picture and sent to you. You've not even verified. You've so, not been to Adan to so, see it. So we see the picture here. That Absolutely. says Adan Sea Defense Absolutely. Project. And third party. And the information related to that says the second phase exactly. of the Adan Sea Defense Project will protect about 10 kilometers of coastal stretch. Okay. Mm -hmm. 10 kilometers of uh, coastal stretch. Mm -hmm. It has commenced following the completion of the first phase Absolutely. in August of 2013. Absolutely. The project is designed to protect Adan and its environs against wave impact and reclaim land to facilitate tourism and development in the sector. And so if you are looking at this green book, this is the this is the the sea defense in Adan that is being is in reference now that somebody suggests doesn't exist, um, and Felix is reading a daily graphic report that corroborates its existence. So those of you watching us from Ada, you must be familiar with this uh, particular project. Let's know if in fact it does exist or it does not exist uh, beyond what uh, Felix is quoting from the daily graphic. Well, we right. were the government that executed it. Right. We engaged a contractor who was doing it. The contractor delivered. The Minister for Waste and Housing at the time, Honorable Collins Dowda, paid several visits. Mm. The TV cameras followed him. They showed the progress of work. We put it in a book. The, the Daily Graphic on its own went there to inspect it. They spoke to those and are taking the project. And then an MPP propagandist hiding somewhere and that takes a picture of the shoreline where there are no stones and senses mm. and say that the project has not existed. This is supposed to cover 10 kilometers. Absolutely. Mm. And the, the, the shoreline of Ada is vast. So there will be portions where you won't find any stones. So yeah. how do you then use that as base that the project we said we have done does not exist? I don't think that we should be this pedestrian and obscurantic in the debate. Again, let me move to what the president says about artist impression. Look, on the 4th of March, 2020, President Kufado visited the radio hospital to inspect it to ascertain the level of preparedness for COVID-19. Mm. He cannot say that the Ridge hospital project is a fantasy project. Okay. From there, he went to Terminal 3. He cannot say 
that what he wanted to respect was fantasy. And he did not limit himself to roots. He said that the projects in the Green Book are fantasy. Again, talking about artist impressions, look, we were very clear, very specific in the book. Mm. The Green Book is a 210-page publication. There are 584 pictures in the book. Out of that 584, there are five artist impressions. And we clearly indicate so in the book that these are artist impressions. The projects that were being depicted were projects that had started but had not gotten to a state where you could show to make any impression. All right. So we indeed, in the case of the, and mm. they included Kumasi, the Kijetia market mm. in Kumasi. Mm. And, in, and in that instance, it was not an artist impression that they had done. They had actually built a model of it and put it at the Kumasi Cultural Center. People actually went there to see what it would look like. The other one was Terminal 3, which had started in late 2015. And then the other one uh, was another uh, project, the whole airport, which had started. President Akufuadu cannot claim that the Kumasi KJTR market does not exist today. It does. It is the single largest public sector capital investment project in the history of the Ashanti region. And President Mama did it. The Terminal 3, on the basis of that, this government has told us that Kotokan International Airport has been voted as the most user-friendly or the, the airport with the best customer service in the whole of Africa. The whole airport exists. Indeed, now the criticism is that it was not needed, but it was there. So on what basis does President Kufa do see that, first of all, five pictures out of 584 pictures, which is less than 1%, means that the Green Book was filled with artist impressions. Mm. The third point so, about roots, I beg your pardon. So the, the test will be your last point for now. Yeah, yes. I have many, yeah. but I'm yeah. sure that we'll get another. You yeah. see, the third point about roots, again, let me place it on record. President Mama has never said anywhere or at any time that he fixed all the roots in Ghana. From page 100 to 113 of the Green Book, we list over 200 specific road projects. The introduction to that uh, sector makes it clear that these roads are at various stages of completion. Some have been completed. Some were ongoing. Others had been awarded on contracts. The honors is on Pius and President Akufuadu to show that there's any road in there that we say has been completed that has not been done. Mm. Again, when he became president, the Cocoa Road projects were going on. He ordered a freeze of all those projects and purported to have carried out investigations. So that stalled the project for about two years. And if a project is ongoing and you stall it for two years, it will deteriorate. And once it deteriorates, the people who live there will naturally call for you to fix the roofs. Okay. So if you create a problem mm. and you come under pressure, there mm. are existing roads that have not been properly done. Mm. And people say you should come and fix roads. The okay. response to that so, yeah. is not to mm. say that what your predecessor did mm does not exist, okay. but the response to fix it. And then there's a final point no, no, you, about, you see, it is important that I clarify. Pius, you get it. Thank yeah, you. in, a minute, in a minute, do that. Look, yeah. mm. Pius made a point about the Cape Coast Stadium. Cape Coast Stadium. There's another one that they say about it, too. And it's important that I use this opportunity to clear it. Something, for the avoidance of doubt, the Cape Coast Stadium was built by the NDC at a cost of $30 million, provided as a grant by the Chinese government. What Pius is talking about in the, and let me clarify that it is not everything in the budget that gets executed. Indeed, if you want to test it, go and check the 2019 budget read by Kano Foyata. He listed about 100 routes, none of which was done, because the money didn't come for it. President Kufo in 2007 said that he was arranging financing from Austria to do the Cape Coast Studio. Indeed, he said that he had paid about 400,000 to secure land, and then he went to inspect the land. There's a newspaper clipping of that visit. But that was about it. When he came to power, there was not a single, uh, what do you call it, source of money that he had left. He had not started any process to get any money for the Cape Coast Stadium. It was President Mills who secured $30 million from the Chinese government to do the Cape Coast Stadium. So, and let me, let me also explain something to you. No, you see, you have made a point. One minute, one minute, don't worry, don't worry. Mm. I mean, we have about 30 minutes more to go, so I'm sure we have it. Mm. Again, they also, and he has not mentioned it, but it's something that the MPP repeats. The trouble gas was the same plant. They say that President Kofor started, it is not true. When oil was discovered, President Kofor started discussions with Trinidad and Tobago. He said that he will use Trinidadian money to build a gas wrestling plant. Indeed, there was a place at Isiama that they had earmarked. But not a dime 
came from Trinidad and Tobago to do it. Again, right. my president okay. never visited okay. China. Thank you. Thank you. He got CDB to commit to do it. Right. Thank you. That Thank you. It's, it's okay. Hold on there. Hold on there. So, so no, okay. no. Before, before you, you were prompting me that you wanted to react yes. to something. Okay, you go ahead. Okay. Mm. So in the first place, uh, uh, my brother is absolutely wrong in his recollection of their economic performance. If I may refresh his memory, <laughs> interest rates were high, growth was very low, and I can give you a long list. Everybody, unemployment was high, <laughs> the financial sector was in a mess. Everybody knows this. There is no way uh, that you run to uh, 2011 when we went to, we had a, a, a spike in oil production in this country. That, and it's even an indictment on Mr. Mahama that under, under former President uh, Ivan Santa Mills, we could spike to 14. And then he handed over to him, and from 14, he brought us down to three point something. It's an indictment that you, were, you inherited such good economic indicators from the late mills. You brought it, so you should stick to your own record of the 3.4 and not find solace in uh, the uh, oil spike uh, growth of about 14%. Mm. I, th I think that that's indicted you, but you see, I think that we need to do an audit of this Green Book properly. Mm. My understanding was that. We were coming to have a conversation around infrastructure, and I will prove to you that even comparing our first four years with the total of the eight years that the NDC has, has had, and that this Green Book does not speak to four years, it speaks to eight years, and there are ro projects here that even uh, uh, went beyond the eight years to the days of J.A. Kufo, but they are all here. And I, I brought documents to show to you that what we have been able to do within these four years is even more. And if we were supposed to do a green book, we'll be talking about 10 volumes of this already. Because I see pictures of even Mahama Kambu, those things, that are, those vehicles. Yeah, they, yeah. They, they are pictures here. Mm. And out of the eight years, they are talking to us about some 584 pictures. This is an, it's a, it's an indictment on your, on your, on your leadership. Mm. But you see, page, ask uh, Phyllis for me, page 91. The Atuabu Freeport, that it, does it exist? The Atuabu Freeport. The book says it exists. The book says, see, this is a picture. Yeah, no, no. This that, is a picture. That, that, no, once you impression. look at the picture, you should look at what it really, says you know, about you're not it. So when, when the man says that, when the man says the that there are pictures oh. in the book, oh. that does not exist. <laughs> you are here contesting, but the thing but is you are not reading the book. So if the what thing does not exist, why do you put it in? I'm saying that does the port exist? No, artistic. Does the port exist? Okay. So the picture comes with the writing. Artistic impression of the Atuabo free port. So the man says that this is a fantasy project. It does not exist in Atuabo. It only exists in the Green Book. Is this not correct, Samson? Samson. Is this not correct? What the read, president said that's a fantasy read, okay, project. Is this the fraud and the misleading uh, those This is one example of them. And I'm saying that I was just glancing through. I, I, so upon I, proper audit, we so, will find more of these okay, pictures. Okay, so more of them. Yes. I I'd be glad if you could show me. Because if but, you say we have to audit. My expectation would have been that you have done the audit, and that is the basis well, I, of, I, I of, your, you, of I... your rejection of it in totality. And well, even the, uh, the projects that you and I can attest exist, you still doubt. No. Now, now if, you, if the person, the writer, the author puts here artistic impression, and you say that is misleading, I don't understand. What does that mean? The president said that mm. we have pictures of projects that do not exist That's not what he earth. said. That's not what he said. What did he say? He said that these are fantasy projects that do not belong, that do not exist on, on the ground, the, but they, they exist in the Green Book. Okay, so... So I'm not, saying to you that this right. is an example of what the President said, that this Atuabu Freeport, which is this beautifully captured in the book, and the mm. cameras can show as well, yes. does not exist mm. on the ground. It only exists on the book. Right. And that's exactly what the President said. And I said to you that, to properly contextualize, mm. he couldn't have meant that Oh, there was no project at all with all the taxes uh, our colleagues in the NDC had collected, with all the borrowing that they had done, mm. that they could not boast of one or two uh, projects. Of course, we can. They even put pictures of Mahama Kambu, these uh, motor-like uh, vehicles that carry three passengers. Mm -hmm. They put those pictures in this Green Book as the achievement. In total, including those pictures, they were able to uh, marshal about some only uh, 584. I brought documentation here, even in the health sector alone, over 600 uh, buildings. If you were to compile a, 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 a green book, mm -hmm. we'll have 10, we'll have 10 uh, uh, volumes of this book. But I'm saying to you that, let's be fair. My understanding and appreciation of what the president said 
is not to suggest implicitly mm. that, uh, that for the eight years that the NDC has been in power, they couldn't even have built one uh, 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 one project, no, not one project. They renovated okay, so, the. So region. you are saying we should ignore what the president said? No, we shouldn't. We should, but there's evidence. Even here, without going and let me. When I spoke to I, production, I, I want to have a certain understanding mm. that they put a picture and they have written that this is an artistic impression. You say the president's understanding of artistic impression is the reality on the ground. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, but the, the book tells us that uh -huh. these projects, and he said it himself, that those artistic impressions, the projects actually existed. Oh, but he doesn't they, they, say but, this. But, 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 but this you said that project, here. He doesn't say so. No, but I'm saying that. Mm. He said that. He said it here. You see, that the ones you see that when you are talking, you said, let us be fair. Let yes, us be fair. Yes. I think you ought to be fair to facts. Yes. Because when the book itself says artistic impressions. But what does that mean? Artistic impression. But we were told that the projects here they exist on the ground. Yes. So how does artistic so, impressions exist on the okay. ground? Okay. So those so, those that are there, you can read. It says newly built, being built or under construction. This one it says there artistic. Is a, there's supposed to be a bridge. All right. Be linking old and new wager. Okay. And I'm saying that if we wanted to do, if, if my understanding was that mm. we we're going to do a content analysis of the document. I'm sure that maybe my brother, if we take this book and we conduct this, the, I just, again, there's a bridge in their, in their, in their book that mm -hmm. just got an uh, indication that the green book it speaks about a bridge that, cons, uh, that joins new and old wager. Okay. The bridge, that's so, what this is, but so, the bridge is in the book. So it's let's, yes. let's, 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 let's look at this, look at it this way. There must be a purpose for what we are doing. Correct. The president says, the things the NDC showed you in the Green Book as infrastructure they have done don't exist. President Mahama also says that cannot be true. So we are trying to fact check if this is the case. Now, as we said once again, you have not been able to show us what is in the Green Book as existing on green earth that does not exist. I just showed you one. No. <laughs> you have shown me what the picture speaks for itself. And it says artistic impression. No, I'm, I'm You have confused. not shown me but something I, they say it's, it exists that doesn't exist. So, so what, they put, they put the, the, the free pot in the book to suggest that. My what? understanding of artistic impression, if I could. And uh, he himself, uh, uh, you don't uh, even uh, need to make excuses for uh, him. Uh, he uh, was uh, here, he spoke, he said that in the instances where they put artistic impressions, mm. some of those projects had even started, but they couldn't take pictures at that time. So there was, uh, they took artistic impression and put it. Okay. But as I speak to you now, mm. that uh, free port, does it exist or not? I spoke about the, the, wager, the, the new and old wager bridge. Again, in this book, you'll find the Fufusu Solar Road. Mm -hmm. Does the Fufusu Solar Road, at the time that you put it in this book, mm -hmm. as having completed the Fufusu mm -hmm. Solar Road, mm -hmm. was the Fufusu Solar Road in existence in the manner you put it in the... Yes, in the yes. oh. Indeed, they had oh. that then this, <laughs> is it, this, If you do this, it will just be a question of uh, your word against Sanka, mine. Should I, and, should then, so, and then so, you will tell me so, that the Fufusu Solar so, is a long stretch. So, 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 so to, the, to the question I was asking, what is the, the, the end game? What's the purpose? of the continuous reference to the Green Book as being a book that contains fantasy. What's, what's the purpose of that? The, 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 the purpose of the comments that was made mm. was to contextualize the whole argumentation that within the, within the eight or the four years that Mr. Mahama uh, was in charge of affairs of this country, mm. in which case their major trump card was just infrastructure. They failed in the other areas, economy, job, uh, job creation, uh, and even infrastructure. They are just looking at motor and bridge. They mm. didn't invest, for instance, uh, uh, in, in, in health as much as we are investing in health. Really? Yes, yes. The, the ambulances, for instance, oh, we can get to those ones. <laughs> I'm saying to you that infrastructure is not just motor and brake. So, so, so the, the whole point, if I may just answer mm. the point, the whole point was that. We want the people of Ghana to know that even with all these limited infrastructure projects that our colleagues have spoken of, there are several of the projects in this book 
that as we speak do not exist mm. <laughs> they exist only in the imagination of my um, of my brother so they put artistic impressions in the book okay but this book was sold to us to mean that these were projects that were on the ground okay and i gave you one example right now of a project that does not exist on the ground but it is in the book and i say that give us more time let us know that okay. we are so, coming to so, do content so analysis let me, of this let me hold selects to Excuse that me. wait wait okay. mm -hmm. when you take that artistic impression mm -hmm. What is the purpose? An artistic impression, I, get, sure. I got one, yeah. one definition. Mm -hmm. It's a sketch or drawing of someone or something produced when no photographs, no photograph is available. Absolutely. So the Say suggestion is that, the suggestion is that mm -hmm. this exists except that you don't have a photograph for it. Absolutely. You see, that's why I said that President Kofado has not read the book. It is clear Pius has not read it. He is relying on pedestrian low-level propaganda you see and we must not we must not engage in ridiculousness when the people oh Pius, please, 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 please 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 you see but I, when the please, people of the two abu say please. that there, there's no free you see, there. you see you see something you say that he is not he is not reading the book you don't need to be and you see for, 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 to for a party that haughtily claims that others don't read it is ridiculous what you and the president are engaging in something check page 86 and i was speaking to that trouble what and I told you 86. that the book is clear. <coughs> Check part <coughs> point two. <coughs> read out point two of page 86. I won't read it. Read it yourself. Page 86. Yes. Point Just two. under the artistic impression of the whole report. Preparatory works mm -hmm. are underway for the construction, for construction to begin on the 700 <coughs> million, uh, 700 uh, million US dollars uh, Atwabu Free Port project. So, I suppose that's really about it. Absolutely. Preparatory works. Absolutely. So we have the preparatory Absolutely. works there. So I told you that the artistic ah. Oh, this is mm. Don't disrupt me. <laughs> okay, it is important that we do this. <laughs> I told you that there are 584 pictures. And those pictures are by no means exhaustive. If you read mm. Dr. Manibu Ames introductory remarks, mm. the foreword, he says that this does not, by any stretch of the imagination, represent everything we did. Okay. He speaks about hospital, they have 600 hospital projects. Even our chips compounds alone. NDC 1, NDC 2, over 3,000 of them will not fit mm. into this book. Okay. So it is ridiculous to suggest that this is all that we did. Okay. So Again, you are not reading the book. You are feeding off propaganda of low-level propagandists in your party. And you repeat them even to the highest levels of government, including the president. If you have read this book, you will know that we make it clear that what we have put there is an impression of a, a port at, for which preparatory work is being undertaken. You recall that that port was hit by a lawsuit by six MPP MPs who argue that it contravenes the GPHA Act, which gives Sorry. GPHA, oh, please, mm. you are not listening. You see, you don't make claims, refuse to listen, and repeat falsehood. You are a deputy minister of information, the same position I occupied when this book was being compiled. I took my time to look through the facts. That's why I'm able to tell but you the facts you of my you put the picture of a project that doesn't exist. exist. But I'm you saying that. You put the picture of a project that doesn't exist. What is the point? Pius. What is the point? Pius. 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 To, to we, are not having, you see, we are not having an mm. argument of the deaf here. Mm. You must listen and stop this deliberate propaganda. Don't pretend that you don't understand what I'm saying. When you put an artist's impression in the book, first of all, for you to say the book is filled with it, it's a complete lie. Because five out of 584 cannot be filled. It is just one, it is 0.8%, it's not even 1%. Again, I have told you what they Some, represent. Some, there are three of them that have the way we are oh, proceeding. Please, the way look, we are proceeding. Look, look, look. But it will be difficult you see, you see, against be, For instance, I ah, spoke what about is this? the Fufusu oh, Solar please. Road, for instance. Something. He says it Something. Where, you know that part of the country. Hmm. If you are going to wire your, your hometown and beyond, you use the Fufusu Solar Road. Everybody there knows that project exists. So stop being ridiculous, please. Oh, he hasn't said it doesn't But he says it doesn't exist. That's what he's saying. How can you, how can you, you cradle such an untruth? You something that is so clear. You that finish. project started in 2011. By the time we got to 2015, when we put in this book, it, was, it had been substantially completed. Indeed, they have about 50 community development projects, schools, water projects, hospitals, and what have you. You finish. So there can be no argument that you can sustain. Mm -hmm. You finish. That at the time we were drawing this book up, it had not been substantially completed. And that is false. It does not even make sense. Again, something. This bit about the fact that there are only 584 pictures. So it pulls into insignificance compared to what they are doing. It's another outright on truth. That is why I have relied on data. I have given you budgetary information. Please. I have given you budgetary information on the metric that you use to establish whether a government is investing more in infrastructure or not. I have used the capest to GDP ratio. And I have told him he can go to Dr. Bamiya for tutorials. He is a foremost proponent of that. Again, something. Let me put it on record. 
he comes back to repeat the same pedestrian propaganda. And the problem with the MPP, and I don't mean this in a derogatory way at all, that there is no separation between what low-level people say and what the topic alone say. So when low-level people say that there are these impressions in the Green Buddha that does not exist, the president repeats it. Pious, for the avoidance this, of doubt. This, this, Please, these things you're saying, this, for the avoidance this of doubt, class, something. This classification of the, Ghanian, Look, of the Ghanaian population. Something. Okay. Felix, so, you think that, so, you think that so, why are you wait, disrupting wait. me? Okay, hold on, hold on. This classification Pious, of the Ghanaian no, population. No, no, hold on, hold on. You are a deputy of information. Gentlemen, what you know. Gentlemen, we don't, have, known, we don't have the whole day. Yeah, so let me finish. And as you know, as we advertise, our time is actually up. But this is what I want you to do. Yeah. Oh, but if you let me relax. No, this is what I want us to do, to conclude. Yeah. Why is it the case mm -hmm. that both parties mm -hmm. fight over infrastructure that you don't come to office with money in your pocket to build? What's, what's the point? Well, Samson, free SHS is not being done with President Kufado's money, yet he touts it. What you do with the people's money, you have a right to let them know. So the fundamental principle must be there. I don't like people who approbate and reprobate. We cannot be told to restore President Kufado because he goes about singing one village, one down with money from the taxpayer. And then we are expected to criticize President Mama if you project what he has done. So we must be consistent. Okay. No government mm. uses its own money. Mm. Every president uses taxpayers' money. It's about, again, the bit about the superior record. Let me give him one. That shatters anything. And if he likes, he can check the Ministry of Sanitation, their own documents. Mm. Something. When we came to power in 2009, water coverage. Yeah, just a minute. Yes, just a it minute. was 54.5%. Mm. Pres no, it was 58.5%. President Kufo had taken it from 54.5 to 58.5. President Mills took it from 58.5 to 63%. President Mama took it to 60, sorry, 76%. President Kufo now, because of small population growth, it has dipped to 69%. It's on the Ministry of Sanitation's website now. Because we added 109.7 million gallons in terms of production capacity. That means that is what I supply. You see the misleading? No, you see, you see the misleading? You, see, you, 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 see, you, you see the problem so, that you don't have. You don't listen to the misleading. You come to office with your manifestos yes. and your areas of priority. Mm -hmm. It may not be fair to use what you have done in another area and to suggest that somebody but is But he's the one saying bad. that we focus no, on infrastructure. No, no, but some, but in in, in one minute. I'm sorry, but we have the rest of our time. In one minute, will you make an admission that the the unqualified you know unqualified criticism of the green book is is actually unfair and it's un, it's unproductive it's not healthy for the politics the things you say don't exist do exist you call them fraud but they are there samson let me make the point strongly now that the criticism of the green book is qualified we were told that we were there were. Sorry, sorry, sorry he just got a minute. Split. Sorry, sorry, Felix. The, yeah. the criticism of the Green Book was qualified. The president said that we were spoken to about unprecedented uh, investments in infrastructure. Those infrastructure exist only in the Green Book and in the imagination of our colleagues. Here and on this program, without <laughs> doing any serious audit of the document, mm -hmm. no serious content analysis page by page, we have found some faulty and misrepresentations here. Some, you, I'm surprised that you are lying to say something that's so just, obviously false. If I may just finish. We, so look, for instance, we look, for instance, oh. for the, for the uh, uh, Atuabo Freeport. It's not there, so but you it's in your not, book. You have not read it. But that is the only problem. Oh, my brother, can I finish? Felix, so if you put together... Oh. But why? The writing on the Atuabo Freeport. So if you put together... But I'm saying that if I'm saying that even preparatory works, there's no preparatory works in Atuabo. But that is not true. There's no preparatory works. Samson, Samson, what does he understand by preparatory works? Okay, what do you understand? One minute. We have run out of time. Can I have my one minute? We have run out of time. We take a break at this time. Thank you. He doesn't understand what preparatory works is. 